Marcus, Josh is swimming through the deep end of the Galilei data, and he's got something he wants to show you. Cool. What's the scale of the thing? Come back home when you can. This might be big. We've got all of DadSec dumpster diving through that Galilei intercept. Anything good? Metric a shit tons of good. <laughs> I've already picked out a serious opportunity for us. Turns out Congressman Thrust's re-election campaign is getting logistical support from Invite. That's weird. And illegal. Right? Why not just give them money? The Invite's got years of collected data. I mean, that shit's worth way more than money. But why back a doofus like Thrust? Dude couldn't tell his ass if someone fucking handed it to him. Well, uh, let's mess him up, break some windows, see what he does. Yeah, create a reaction, might flush him out. Let's announce this. Marcus, you think you can, uh, bitch slap him for us? Uh, yeah, I got something for him. I'm gonna go fuck up that big-ass billboard with his dumb face all over it. <laughs> Send a clear message. And I'm gonna hit up his campaign funding. And I am going to... Fuck up his social media, and I am going to fuck up his website, and I am gonna fuck up his online ads. I'm gonna go for another beer. Your freedoms can only be protected if democracy thrives. But corporate interests are rigging the elections. Your elections. Jeez. Your favorite social media giant, Invite, knows everything about you. And they're manipulating your feed to tailor your opinion to their interests. They are fooling you into voting for their puppet, Congressman Mark Russ. Invite wields the single most powerful population control tool ever created. Defend democracy. Help us tear down Invite. Lend us your processing power by downloading our app and together we will expose Congressman for us. Join us. We are dead set. Marcus, we found a potential diamond in the Galilee dump with Titus's name on it. I'm listening. Wrench and I are working on a plan. Easier if we fill you in when you're back in the garage. I. Listen, we got rumors about tennis. We got rumors about goddamn titles. This is scary as fuck. Imagine what happens if Bloom takes CTOS global. Countries without any regulations, countries where the government will actively use it against their people. It would be catastrophic. A nightmare scenario, and it's probably already in progress. So how do we even begin to stop it? We keep hitting their corporate allies, expose the risks, the abuse. We're not fighting against Bloom itself. That's a losing battle. We've got to wreck its image and destroy its brand. Normal where you come from? That's just how you all behave? in the fucking dirt.
I'm looking right at a giant congressman thrust up on the billboard. Do your thing, man. Here goes. He'll know we're after him now. Way to go. I've got a whole team of DedSec members out working on Thrust's other signs. Nice. Meanwhile, I put together a payload to deploy an invite server. Meet me outside invite and I'll fill you in. Sure. See you. Nice work on the billboard. We wanted a reaction, we got a reaction. Yeah? We got an email between Thrust and his cronies. He's seriously pissed. He's trying to pass a law against groups with the capability of revealing proprietary directives and actions. That's us. It sure sounds like something Invite would want. It's part of the reason why they're helping Thrust. Mm hmm You need to hack into the CEO's office. Oh, Mary Catskill. And? Here's an exploit to open up the back door into the servers. Another USB? I, I could start a damn store with these. Just don't sell that one. <laughs> you know, last time I was in here, things didn't go so well. Worst time ever, really. They've increased security because of that, by the way. Well, that's just great news. Hiding behind computers, doxing, trolling and shit. El mejor lugar para conocer a los poderosos. Esas son las pendejadas que quiero saber.
Phone tapped. We'll record all her conversations. We'll get everything she says. Head over to the server room and install the back door. Way ahead of you. Just a quick reminder to all inviters. The projects we work on need to be kept super secret, right? We all know that. So anybody asking about what we're up to, even by family members or best friends, can't be told anything. Not even that you can't tell them, just say, I don't like to talk about work and change the subject to sports or something. Even if they keep asking. <laughs> Thanks, everyone.
You the man. Okay, what's up with this? You seeing what I'm seeing? Looks like... Shit! They're using Bellwether. Damn! That means Bloom is behind all this. Oh, man, they're manipulating people into voting for Thrust. Know what? Should be easy to refactor this to push against Thrust. <laughs> ah, that's genius. Do it. Now get the hell out of there. Okay, I'm out. Josh is working on changing the invite algorithm to screw thrust. Hey, one of the other candidates is having a campaign rally out in front of City Hall. I might just meet you there. Cool. And the big data companies are geniuses at separating you from your data. Yo, Teresa Moretti seems to have a shot. If Invite gets its way, no election is safe. Bellwether has the power to influence every voter in the whole damn country. And Thrust is gonna be the guy covering for him. That's why he's so important. Well, ever since we've messed with Invite's code, Congressman Thrust has taken a hit in the polls. Invite is freaking out. Yo, M. You gotta hear what we recorded, all right? <laughs> this is Thrust talking to Mary Catskill and Vite's CEO. Can't you do something? It's all going wrong. Let's meet in person. I have something that will square this away. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, let's meet at my penthouse. Up the security, and I'll see you there. Thanks so much, Mary. We'll keep it all on the queue. I'll go record what's happening, and we'll use it against him. And I will help you out. Your carriage awaits, sir. Why, uh, thank you, sir. Something tells me security is going to be crazy. I did some research. Whole place has security cams. We can use those to find out what's up. Security cams that break their security. You know it. The vote's one of the few things people got left. You know invites tracking everybody's voting patterns. Of course. Why wouldn't they? This invite thing drives me nuts. I mean... Companies manipulate people all the time, but they're so fucking insidious. They control all the traffic. They know everything about everybody and how to take advantage of them. Security cam controls up on the top of that building. I'll go take a look, see. I'm gonna scout the area. See if I can see into the penthouse directly. Check in on your laptop. You wanna see what goes down. Mr. Nemich. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> surprised. Yeah, surprised. You look like you shot the bed. That's hardly fair. Now, you and Miss Catskill made promises I to... never promised you anything, Mark. Promises are something a five-year-old says, Mark. Blackmail, is it? I know. I wish I'd come up with something better, but... 
Guess the cliche still works. This state forgives sexual dalliances far more than it does drug abuse, Mark. I am a United States congressman. Long story fucking short, Mark, you baby. Your numbers are tanking, and we can't afford that. Now, it's time for Plan B. You do remember what Plan B is, don't you? And here are the schematics, <laughs> if you're interested. I thought your program would get me reelected. No, miracles are for losers, Mark. Don't you want to earn this yourself? Now, anything goes wrong, remember, you just keep your mouth shut. Unlike you in those photos. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry about those. I'll try better next time. You see that? Dushan's part of this. Man, there is a ton of activity going on over there. Marcus, the building just went off the grid. We can't get in or see inside. I gotta get over there. There's gotta be some evidence of what's going on. I'm on top of the next building. You get to his penthouse from up here. Plenty of cranes for that. On my way. Get out. Huh? You can see the whole city from here. Whole oh, lot of people out there, man. Whole oh, lot of people. Yeah, getting screwed. Man, you don't even feel it. Just numb. It's fucked up. You know it's gonna be a hell of a fight turning them back into people. Fucking A, man. Okay, dude. You find the evidence, and I'll monitor exit strategy. Hey, is that the congressman? Uh, no, I do believe that is a helicopter. <laughs> Fuck you.
They're scrubbing the evidence. Get us access, Marcus, before it all gets wiped. I'll get you inside the system. Once I do, you use the botnet to brute force your way in and download everything you can. But once you start downloading, they'll know you're inside. It wouldn't be a party if they didn't. And I've got a surprise for them. Yo, Satara, I'm ready to go in. Play me something fresh. You're in. Do your thing. Marcus, we got their plan B. They're going after the voting machines. 
voting machines? Aren't those pretty protected? They only protect the data after the vote. With the invite data, they can ignore ballots before a voter pulls a lever. Josh found out where they keep the machines. He's waiting for you outside Fort Point. Fort Point? On my way. Oh, and Marcus, you might want to bring some explosives. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah, I just saw it. That's why I called. Your account is no longer suspended and all those posts are gone. Are you joking? What the hell? Josh, please tell me you're not in there. Marcus, Marcus, there's snipers on the roof. Snipers? What, what are you talking about? They're human. I, I'm sorry, they're, they're not supposed to be here. Dushan must have hired them. Why are you whispering? I'm not whispering. Can you get hey, man, I'm not going in there. Look. So tomorrow, they're trucking out these machines to the polling places, and what are we supposed to do? R reverse engineer them? No, that's not feasible given our time frame. The virus is military grade. The only prudent course is to destroy them all. Destroy them all? <laughs> what do you want to do, blow them up? The fort's a military base. There's plenty of explosives. The voting machines it delays the election. Yeah, we expose the tampering and give people time to make an informed decision. Hell yeah. Hey, I'm sold, Josh. You sold? OK. All right. Isn't blowing up voting machines kind of extreme? Hell no! It's like Josh said, we buy time for the election. It's a civic service, essentially.
Got them all. Now you should probably get out of there.
I'm out. Great. Hey, we put together a video using the stuff you got in the penthouse. Check it out. Citizens, Invite Corporation has been using their sacred vote as a plaything, targeting you individually. Invite manipulated your emotions to give support to their puppet, Mark Thrust. But DeadSec hacked into Invite and changed their algorithms. Polls reversed instantly. Invite, desperate to elect Russ, resorted to their own form of hackery. Here, Invite CEO Mary Catskill delivers a virus, destined for voting machines to mark Thrust himself. The election has been delayed. Citizens, use this time to think. Do not allow yourselves to be manipulated. DedSec implores you to think before you vote. DedSec has given you the truth. Do what you want.